Uh, does everybody have ODK Collect on their phone? Um, if you don't, if you're an iPhone user, I used to be, um, you can maybe grab your neighbors. Yeah. But um, why don't you get Collect open? Um, and I'm going to do some screen sharing here if I can figure out how to use the technology here. Wonderful. So my screen is up here now, so we can, you guys can kind of follow what I'm doing here. Um, and this is like Star Trek. You have to watch Star Trek to figure out how to do this kind of stuff right here, right? So <laughs> um, does anybody know where this picture is from? <laughs> More specifically, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the Himalayas. <laughs> All of Nepal is the Himalayas. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the Kumbu ice fall coming off of uh yeah, the kind of the south um western flank of uh of Mount Everest there. So Everest base camp is like yeah, right there. Okay. Uh that's not what we're talking about. Focus. Stay focused. Um yeah. So um so this is uh open data kit collect. Um, the things that I want to cover uh, on this are how do you configure, um, like how do you connect this to a server, uh, and then how do you use it? Kind of just some basic examples. Um, so the first thing we want to do is uh, give an example of connecting it to um, a ODK aggregate server. So the triple dots up here is like the main menu, so this vertical ellipsis. So click on that, uh, and then click on General Settings. And then from this list here, uh, we're going to have Server is going to be what we want. Uh, and then in Type, make sure that it says ODK Aggregate. <coughs> and in URL, uh, you need to type this uh, URL. It's s 4 w dash nl.appspot.com. So you can keep most of what's in there probably. I'm sorry for the, the small, I'll write it up here. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, uh, exactly, it is a dash. It's a mid, mid letter dash. Uh, colon, colon, uh, S four W dash N L dot app spot dot com. <laughs> Don't do that one. Okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> everybody got the URL in there? S four W dash mid mid level dash N L dot app spot dot com. Yeah. Okay, I have it written down in really bad handwriting there. Uh, if you don't have it yet, but we're gonna keep going. So say okay. Uh, username and password can be uh, left blank. In this case, we've set this server up. Uh, to not uh, require username and password because we want anybody to be able to contribute data. Um, and so you can, if you have like sensitive data that you're working on, you can make it so that you have to have a username and password for somebody to contribute data to it. So that's what that's for, okay? So now just hit your phone's back button and get back uh, to, uh, yeah, this general settings menu here. Now you might realize, you might say, wow, I like this dark theme and yours is all white, right? Yeah, so how do you change that? This is like totally silly, but go to user interface, and then on theme, there's like the dark theme and the light theme. Yeah, so everybody can, yeah, have the dark theme now. Um, you can uh, change the language here, font size. You know, if anybody in the room is starting to lose their vision, I think I'm starting to, you can make a big font. Uh, you can change how you navigate. So these are just settings. I'll let you look through all this later. So let's go back now to the general settings here and go to form management. So this is really important. When, when you complete one of these forms, so we just made a form, right? When you complete it, do you want that data to automatically send to the server or do you want to manually choose it and then send it? So those are the types of options here. So for instance, uh, form submission. So auto send, 
off just with Wi-Fi, just with cellular, or both Wi-Fi and cellular. So I have auto send off because I want to manually select them and send them. But if you have some forgetful participants, you just say, hey, set it to auto with Wi-Fi, and then as soon as they get Wi-Fi connection, it'll send their data kind of in the background. So you don't have to worry about uh, taking that step. Okay. Lots of other things to cover, but we don't have time. So let's go back now to this menu, the, the main menu here. Okay, and what we want to do now is we're going to do get blank form. So if you click on get blank form, it's going to do a little handshake with the server that we just typed in, and there's going to be three forms that show up. Um, the first form is what Sarah made. Uh, yeah, last week, I think. And then um, the next form um, is kind of a copy of something from Nepal. And then the last form is something that a student made from the Hoag School, uh, Boaz. Um, so for now, you can choose whatever you want to download. I'm going to choose uh, just the S4WNL. Uh, well, why not? We'll download them all. And then once you check the ones you want, just say Get Selected. Okay, and it's going to pull down those form definitions. Again, all it's doing is it's grabbing like the blank form from the server with no data in it, and it's putting it onto your phone. Okay, so does everybody have this download results? Oop. Oh, hey, whoa, yeah, that's uh, now it's now it's big. <laughs> um, is it good? Okay, I'll keep it horizontal. This is going to be weird, but I'll try to <laughs> try to do this. Um, Okay, uh, so now I'm, we oh, have to scroll. Uh, so now I have a blank form, right? Um, you can manage those forms under the delete save form here, and you can say, I, okay, I want to get rid of those blank forms. Uh, you can see the ones that you've saved here. Um, but right, right now what we want to do is fill blank form. So this is like, uh, the thing we just did in terms of the server settings is you do it once, right? But then, if the person's going to repeatedly collect data, they don't have to worry about that. Now they just come into the app and they say fill blank form. Okay? So fill blank form, all those forms we just downloaded, now we can put some data into them. Okay, so let's choose uh, S4WNL. Okay? And this is a little welcome screen. If we, if we went, uh, okay, over here, I can actually pull up this form in XLS form in real time here. We can see uh, how this works. So here we are. Okay, so see what's happening is in the background, I've actually already recorded a whole bunch of stuff from you guys. So this is the privacy thing, right? So, <laughs> um, but we already have the start date, uh, the end. Well, we don't have the end yet because we're not done, but we have today. We have your device ID. It's just a, it's a, a yeah just a generic number that's part of your phone, and then your SIM number and your phone. But you have to choose to share those things, but that's going on in the background. Yes? Yeah? Did you click on, I'm gonna go out, uh, we wanna go to the S4W-NL. I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, mysterious. I think it might have been because we downloaded it maybe earlier. And it, are you on the Nepal server still? Because I remember we set it to Nepal maybe. Maybe we should check that. Maybe, maybe Sarah can do that. Okay, so back to this one. Uh, so here's our XLS form, right? And we can see we're on this uh, question, welcome to the form. Let's change the language, right? And this Dutch is going to be, I don't know how good because I don't speak Dutch, but let's check it out uh, for you native speakers. If you hit this uh, triple dot, uh, setting there, then you can go to change language. And then, I don't know why image is in the list. I'll have to figure that one out. Yes. Sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah. Why would you collect the first four things? So why am I collecting these things? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, this is what we call the form metadata, and it's just happening invisibly. The reason why we do it in Nepal is because um, uh, we want to be able to communicate 
with the people if they choose to, to give us their information. And the data that comes uh, only has this device ID, right? So that's the only thing that tells us what phone it came from. And so we use this device ID as like a tag and we then link it to a person's name if they provide their information. And then we know that this phone belongs with this person and then this data belongs with this person. So that's why we do that. Um, and then uh, when you get a new phone, uh, then we can link that new device to a, uh, yeah. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, yeah, so for the languages, how do we do on the Dutch, if I change that to Netherlands? It's okay? Yeah, okay. So um, I better put it back in English though, because I have no idea what's happening. Um, yeah, we really don't have time to go into details, but I'm going to say, uh, if I say yes here, it's going to take me through a process of, of uh, answering a series of questions like, what's your name, um, the year that you were born. Again, this is optional, so you can just uh, swipe past it if you don't want to do it. But the, the year and all that, you can ano anonymously provide uh, uh, the rest of your details. Yeah, okay. So if you, if you go from this one, Nick. The, yeah, fill blank form and then that one. Okay, so um, later on, uh, when you guys go outside, um, one of the exercises will be to go through this form, and uh, and I'm not going to give you instructions right now because I want you to kind of be uh, testers of whether this makes sense without me giving instructions. It should be documented internally enough to be able to figure it out. But what I want you to do is go take a measurement of soil moisture outside. Just not all in the same place, please. Just try to distribute yourself a little bit. So uh, when, we, when we go outside, just, yeah, some people go that way, some people go that way, and take a measurement of soil moisture. And uh, you don't need a sensor. It explains how you do that in the form. And I hope you can figure it out. <laughs> uh, if you can't, it's totally my fault. It's not uh, your fault. Um, so... Uh, ODK Collect, does any, anybody have any questions on how, yeah, how you use this app, how you point it to a server, download forms, fill forms, yes? Uh, so in service settings, it's a type ODK aggregate. Yes. What does that mean? Because in my project, they're using Kobo Toolbox, but yes. it still says ODK aggregate. Yes, so okay, yeah, great, great. Um, so I don't know if you remember that really complicated picture that I put up there at the beginning with, uh, yeah, all that stuff. Anyways, if I pull that picture up, maybe I can find it quickly. Um, yeah, it was this one. This is the one that we're interested in. Um, exactly. So, so like you're, you said that Kobo Toolbox was what was shown. Uh, what we just did was ODK aggregate. And what we could do if we had time would be Google Drive because that's an easier implementation. But all these represent the server that you're using for managing blank forms, uh, distributing blank forms, and then receiving filled forms. Uh, and um, there's notes about how to set those up with links in this document. And I don't think we're going to have time to actually go through uh, doing it right now. Um, what I'm feeling like what we should do is let's take a break. Can we, how, how long do people want to break for? Because I think I have 15 minutes in the, in the schedule, but we can do 15, we could do 10, 5, whatever you want. <laughs> no, no, I mean, but I, I, I have lots of energy, so <laughs> the, I, I don't, yeah, the breaks are optional. But, but 5, 10, 10 minutes. We meet in the middle. So, so 10 minutes. Okay, so, yeah. 10 minutes. Okay, so at, um, yeah, at uh, 14, uh, 40, then we'll all meet back up here and we'll go over how to configure a Google Drive deployment and then hopefully that'll answer some of your questions. Yeah, I'm sorry that it's, there's just not enough time to, yeah. Okay.